Hello and welcome back everybody to the Sovereign FX YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over risk management, but how you're going to keep your losses small. Okay, so the, the main the main reason a lot of traders are stuck at break-even stage is that their profits are equal to their losses. But the secret to curb this is cutting your losses short. That's the most efficient way to actually see your account compound so today i'm going to go over methods or otherwise setups or movements or patterns in the market that will help you cut short your losses so for example let us have a cell over here all right so with a cell having a stop loss above here's how we are going to manage risk okay this is not a bet i think a better example is here so if i enter a trade on the 30 minute time frame what i do is manage the trade on the 15 minute time frame so you go over to the 15 minute time frame okay let us locate our trade So this is how you're going to manage this trade so you enter as it breaks this minor support for sell then maybe your stop loss is above here the first thing okay so a lot of people in my group have realized people are over managing risk you don't want to over manage risk you can manage risk maybe on a trade maybe once or twice because if you tend to react to each and every movement the market does you're going to squeeze the life out of your trade and basically end up as a loss a trade that would have been a win so here's how we manage so on the 15 minute time frame if i see a candle close bullish that's the first sign that i'm going to close 50 percent of my trade so that is the first scenario First scenario, okay, so let me type out the scenarios over here. First scenario, we're going to have 15 minutes closing opposite to our direction. Close 50%. The second instance is the 15 minutes breaking the highs of the previous 15 minute candle 15 minutes okay so this is in the case of a sell the opposite is true for a buy if the 15 minute is breaking the lows of the previous 15 minutes the current okay so would you look at this so here price closed bullish that's opposite towards a direction so there's an analogy i use that if a bus is headed to the left and you want to go to the left that's the bus you will board but if a bus is going right and you want to go left there's no way you'll board a bus going left so those are candles if a candle is going bearish you want to take a trade on a candle that's bearish you don't want to take a sell on a candle that's bullish that's basically taking a bus to the right while you're headed to the left so that will help at least clear things up for you okay so the first i'd close 50 percent so if your one lot is running close 50 percent leave 0.5 lot running the second way you can manage is if this closes then the second 15 minute closes bullish you can do away this trade with this trade altogether and lose less than the risk you had planned to lose so that's what i've learned on the market so far it's better to cut your losses short and let your winners win so this will be a very short video on also on psychology you have realized you should learn to take a loss be able to accept the losses you've taken because 
even me when I was beginning, I didn't accept my losses and this led to compounding of losses and losses of lots of account of blown accounts but with time you're going to realize that accepting a loss will help you in the long term in the grand scheme of things if you have a trade plan and you stick to the trade plan and implement the following risk management strategies so your trade plan trade it to the trade it just make sure you trade follow all the rules you have set out in your trade plan or trading system and make sure you implement the risk management strategies that i've taught in this and the previous video so if you realize this is only on static risk you can't really manage risk on dynamic risk because using dynamic risk you are already managing risk so you can't manage it even more because you are entering risk but you've broken down your risk into different entries so this applies to static risk so as i told you i'm most of the time i use static risk also if you enter trade on the 30 minutes make sure you manage the trade on the 15 minute if you enter trade on the one hour manage the trade on the 30 minute if you enter trade on the four hour manage the trade on the one hour so always go down a notch when you're trying to manage trades sometimes you're not going to be able to manage your risk because you can enter a trade and immediately price shoots up in the case of a sell shoots up hits a stop loss that's okay and that's where psychology comes in be always always accept the amount of money you're going to lose in a particular trade and with that i think i'll see you in the next video thank you for staying with me all this while see you next time